Hello everyone. Welcome to Reach Goals. Today I am going to talk about an interesting system design that is top 10 songs. I have prepared based on the request from one of the followers and it was asked as an interview question at top tech companies. I made this design simple so that the freshers to the experienced software engineers can understand. Let's dive into the topic right now. If you know the system design, you will be able to understand and discuss the questions like how to find out the top trending products on last hour, day, monthly basis, how to get the trending Twitter hashtags, determine the most 10 frequent words in the terabyte of strings, top 10 viewed videos in YouTube, top 10 songs in the Spotify and many more similar questions like this. As I explained in my earlier videos, when you start doing a system design, you have to follow the divide and conquer rule. You have to focus on little pieces like scope that is functional and non-functional requirements. You have to talk about the key components in the system design. You have to focus on the database or the data model and you also need to talk about the operational cost and the maintenance. N4 or the non-functional requirement is the most common for many of the system design and some of the non-functional requirements are fault tolerance, high availability, performance, security, monitoring, logging scaling the system storage capacity maintenance of the system and capacity and the operational cost each of the non functional requirements can be achieved in multiple ways and i will cover in detail in the future videos i also suggest you to look into some other videos where i have talked about lot of non functional things like fault tolerance high availability and many more and the second thing you have to talk about in the system design is the functional scope the functional scope of this topic is nothing but get top 10 songs or something like get trending songs let's go deep into this and see in more detail in this system design i am going to explain the simplest approach and then i will discuss the drawbacks of each design taking this as a starting point we will build a robust high scalable and high available system so this is a system design with one database This is a very simple and easy to understand system design but we can't meet our non functional requirements let's see what are the drawbacks and how we can overcome that you have a ui ui in turn connects to the internet and to the load balancer load balancer connects to the web services deployed to the application server and the services are connected to the database like mysql or oracle you will have a database table something like what i'm showing on the right side of the screen The database table looks like this and it is very simple for some understanding purpose only and it can be fine tuned and can be normalized to meet our goals and the requirements. Application server has three important web services and let's see one by one. The first one is a get song. It helps to get the song and listen. The second one is update view count. If someone listen to the song through the get song the view count is incremented in the database that means you are using the update view count function to update the records in the database the third one is get top 10 song this sorts view count and gives the top 10 songs and which can be showed up in the ui keep in mind in this approach we will have almost near real time data but it has a scaling issue the database will not scale if billions of users are listening to the music at the same time the database will gradually lose its performance and will not scale we cannot meet the non functional requirement like scalability performance high availability etc let's see how to improve this now i am trying to improve the system design by having multiple databases and applying the sharding concepts as a next step we can scale the database by sharding if you need more information about sharding please check my other video in this channel about sharding Now the service is connected to the multiple database by applying the sharding concepts. Here you have multiple databases which are sharded and we solve the scalability issue in the database. The services which are having restful services can also be scaled by applying the auto scaling principles. There is a processing engine which queries in the database and loads the top 10 songs in the ready cache frequently. In this case we have a problem of losing the near real time results for two reasons. The first one is querying the larger table and sharded table takes time. Second, we are placing the results in the ready cache at a frequent interval of time, hence we will not have the real time results. Let's see how we can further improve. Now, let's see how to optimize further with the help of hash map and heap. Instead of having the count in the database, let's go to the redis cluster. 
reduces the key value in memory data store and performs much better than the database when a user listens to the music create an event and insert the key as a song id and value as a count keep incrementing the count if the user views or listens to the same song then insert all the map entries from the redis to the max heap now get the song with the highest frequency it is very simple right the time complexity is o of n log n and the space complexity is o of n i have a sample code on the screen for your further reference and it is a self explanatory code there are many popular algorithms which can be applied in the system design they are count min sketch plus heap lucy counting hadoop or map reduce discussing the algorithms is beyond the scope of this video i'll cover the algorithms in different videos also there are many interesting videos about the algorithms in the internet still i want to optimize or improve my system design and so i have chosen apache spark so far we were able to achieve the scalability or real time data separately but we were not able to achieve both let's see how to balance both scalability and real time data here i have compared the apache spark with map reduce and i can see apache spark leads most of the use cases like processing speed latency fault tolerance costs and many more considering the benefits i'm using apache spark for the system design and let's see how we can make use of apache spark let's see how apache spark fits into the system design talking about the apache spark is beyond the scope of this video but keep in mind that advantage of apache spark it can process high volume high velocity data in real time we are taking this as an advantage to build the system to get top 10 songs on the screen you can see some of the hints about the apache spark and what are its benefits basically what it does is apache spark converts the input to rdd rdd is like a variable RDDs are distributed across network as partitions. One task executed per partition and you can have n number of partitions. Hence n number of parallel operations can be applied and hence you get a lot of performance based on the operations whichever we are doing. Two operations can be applied on RDD. One is transformation and other one is an action. If you look into the small uh, code sample you can clearly understand how we can achieve the word count or how we can achieve the top 10 songs in the applications, right? So basically what it does is RDD is something you are storing as a variable as an RDD by fetching the file basically here if you see log start text and when then you are using your algorithm or you using your formulas to apply the filter on that and finally you can do an action which is called as a counting right now let's see how we can use apache spark in our infrastructure to get top 10 songs which is highly scalable and it is highly optimized to the level best Here you have a UI. UI in turn connects to the internet, and internet. Here you have a UI. UI in turn connects to the internet, and in turn it connects to the load balancer. The load balancer connects to the server. The server has three important services. The first server is a get song. It helps to get the song information. The second one is a create view event. If someone views the music, an event is generated and sent to the Spark through the Kafka. The third service is a get top 10 songs. This sorts view count and gives the top 10 songs. In order to scale the server, it is added to the auto scaling group. Based on the CPU usage, new servers can be added or removed and hence the service workload components can be scaled. When someone is listening to the song, create event is called with the events. Events or tiny messages are sent to the Kafka clusters. from kafka the events are sent to the real time processing spark cluster as shown in the screen the events can be stored in the database cluster for auditing or for future references there is an another component called spark engine which takes the stream of data and processes the data to get the top 10 songs and places them in the redis cluster Spark engine has the SDK to aggregate the data and we can make use of it to get the top 10 songs. Now, the get top 10 songs calls the Redis and sends the top 10 songs as a response to the JSON to the UI. In this screen, I have given a sample of word count. You can have a similar operation to get the top 10 songs. 
This is only a sample. Writing a code to get the top 10 songs is beyond the scope of this video. In this park based system design, which is highly scalable and fault tolerant, we are able to achieve near real time counts and the scalability is possible due to the cluster of nodes. Since we are using the streaming data, we can get the count dynamically. We don't need to store the data in the database too. We will store in the database only for auditing and for future reference. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post in the comments and I am happy to answer. Thank you.